welcome to St. John's Sunday School. You may not have noticed, but in the last few weeks, the altar frontal is now purple. That's because it's Lent, and it's a time of observing uh, our relationship with God and coming to know Jesus in a special way as our Savior, as the one who calls out to us and draws us in. During Lent, I'm going to speak to you about the Good Shepherd, which is another name for Jesus, and we often call Jesus the Good Shepherd. Now, you may not know too much about sheep. I mean, I really don't know much about them either. We're not farmers. We live in the middle of a village, and we don't really do much uh, with, with animals, except when we go to special parks and zoos and stuff. But sheep are animals that follow and usually they will follow only the voice of their shepherd it's really curious and then there's special dogs that are used for herding sheep and they work as a partner with the shepherd and we see them sometimes um, on trials and they're in they're called border collies but anyway it's a lot like when you're on the playground and your mom calls you, there's all sorts of kids on the playground and there's all sorts of moms. But when your mom calls you or your dad, you hear them and you respond, you go to them, right? Well, for the sheep, who by the way are you and I, the sheep hear the shepherd's voice. And even though they might be all these other sheep and all these other shepherds, they go to the one who called them. Isn't that amazing? A lot like you and I. The parable of the good shepherd is a reminder to us that not only does Jesus know who we are and who his sheep are, but Jesus his voice is somewhere inside of us and when Jesus calls us closer to God and closer to God's kingdom we hear it somehow in, in our heart and our soul now Jesus says that he is the one who has come to let us all know that God is calling out to us and that we should get rid of the distractions and the noise and, the, and spend quiet time listening for God's voice in our life so that we can follow. It's an exciting thing to spend that quiet time in prayer, talking to God and listening for where God might be leading us. It's a lot like the time we spend in quiet conversation with our parents. We know that they love us. We know that they have our best interests at heart. They know that they care for us and that they would do anything for us. Jesus wants us to know that God is the same. God wants us to be safe. God wants us to be thrilled with our life. God wants us to live fully and wonderfully into the people God made us to be. So the whole story of the Good Shepherd is about listening for God, calling you into the goodness you were made for, into the wonder of who you are, and away from the distractions and the scuttlebutt and the gossip and the getting in trouble. That's not what God wants for us. God wants goodness and kindness and generosity. God wants us to know how much God loves us. So God sent Jesus Christ to tell us this story of a good shepherd, that the good shepherd knows who his sheep are, and the sheep know who the good shepherd is. 
and there are flocks of sheep all over the world in all kinds of places who belong to God and recognize God's voice. They can be different as night and day, but still they know in their heart and in their soul that God is calling them to goodness and wonderful things and to safety. So I hope you will take quiet time to find the still small voice of God that speaks in you, that calls you to goodness and wonder and to be your most amazing self. One of the places we learn how to pray like that is in church. So I hope soon this pandemic will be behind us and you will all feel safe to come to church. Oh, we sure do miss seeing one another, don't we? It would just be wonderful to see you again. In the meantime, may the peace of our Lord be with you always. May this day be filled with sunshine. May you know that God loves you and cares about what happens to you. And may you hear the voice of God calling you to goodness and wonder. Take care now. Amen.